everyone welcome back to the channel panther schools sfdc panther 2.0 my name is amit singh and i hope you all are doing good so we are here in the whatsapp plus salesforce integration series and that is episode 15 that we are going to talk here in the previous video we have talked about how you can send the media files using postman be it image document or video so we are going to extend the previous video functionality that we did this time we are going to see how we can send the media files from epic like we have the files within salesforce in files object and then we are going to see how we can take those files and send those as a message to our whatsapp customers like the customer sometimes as we talked about right there could be a requirement of sending the invoice or the order details or some digital documents that we wanted to get signed by the customer could be the nda or some other documents so first thing let me show you how you can uh, send this okay using postman the salesforce file we are going to send this using postman to the customer and then we will see how we can write an fs class and send this message to the customer using whatsapp okay now here i have got multiple files uploaded over here i'm going to maybe showcase with this uh, file this is the fsl topics field service lighting topics i have got over here in the pdf format now suppose you wanted to send this document to the customer so how you can do that so if you uh, like remember that earlier when we when we were sending uh, the documents over here we were send, sending with the help of a public links and these documents were being displayed these are some of the documents i have tested uh, for my testing purpose so these all are the documents from salesforce but if you if you scroll down here on the top you will see these are coming from a public public link that we have right so the same way in salesforce we have to create the public link for example i wanted to create a public link for this so manually we can create by clicking on this public link after opening that file it's going to ask us do you want to create yes let's create the link and then copy this so once you create the link and copy you are really going to get a public link and you can paste it over here and maybe if you click on send so what will happen you're not going to get the file and this time the reason is not that we have to send the test message over here using the send message so that, that's not something the reason is but we still are going to check if this is the reason but that's not the reason the reason uh, this is not the reason you can see here the file is not coming up the reason behind this is this is actually a public link i can go ahead and open this uh, url in my other browser i'm going to see the document publicly and that is going to give me the preview of this document it's not going to give me the download and if you remember in our earlier video we talked about that it should be having a download url so by clicking on that link we should uh, get uh, start the download should get started right so for that we really have to do is we really have to create a download url so how we are going to create the download url so there is an object called content distribution and that object is a child of your content version okay so what we have to do is if we really wanted to create the public links or if you we really wanted to have a download the download url of a file download url of a file we can use that content distribution we can insert that con content distribution record for the content version and get those document those details so how we will do that we are going to open the developer console okay and this is the code that i have I've got this code so that we can easily utilize this. There is no such like uh, I will say not so, as such code that I have written that you are not going to understand. It's very simple code here. If you see here, what as I said that we have got this content distribution. That's what we are inserting over here. So first thing that we have to do is we have to insert the content distribution record for the content version. Okay, and this is the hard code ID that I have given so far. But we really wanted to uh, get the content version ID for this uh, file, which is FSL with distributed topic. So we can go to the query editor and from file open resource and we can search for content version. Okay. And then maybe we can say the ID 
one can document id version number title and description okay these are some of the fields i wanted to query so select those fields and then click on this query and execute so here you are going to see the title this is the title right so you really wanted to get the id of that distribution so just get it copy this id okay the code has been gone so i'm going to again take this code from here and paste it yeah i'm really going to take this id okay and put it over here so now we have got this content version id name you can see either maybe you can give the same name that you want or maybe you can change it like this fsl with distributed topic external link then there are few boolean variables that out of those uh, like there are many boolean variables but we have to use these three which says that um, if we wanted to notify the user when the user is uh, like visiting this file maybe we wanted to know when a user is visiting our link we can say okay let's make it as true we in the browser this is going to give you the public url and this is the download reference allow origin download so if we say true then we will be able to download this and then insert that distribution record now once you have insert, inserted the distribution record there are a couple of fields like content download url and distribution public url so this distribution public url is the one that we were able to create it by clicking on this public link button and this content download url is the one that we are really going to uh, look for okay and then we've got this uh, so that's why we have we did a query on content distribution and then we got the urls like download url and public url and then we are print, printing out here in our debug log i'm going to check this checkbox open log so that it will open the log for us and then execute so once you execute it and if you click on debug only you will see the download url is this is the one and then this is the public url okay so all we need is copy this download url and paste it over here and then maybe click on send okay now why we are not able to send it what, what's the reason behind this because if you notice this is a document this is not an image so we really have to change it, the type to document and also need to say document and get rid of this caption okay and then if you send this now as this is a document we should be seeing this message over here you clearly see here right now if we really wanted to send the file name we definitely wanted to send the file name so we can use the file name and maybe this time i'll take the file name from our query itself and maybe we'll make it as dot pdf because this is a pdf file now you see the file name is there and maybe you can also use the caption okay and then if you maybe you can also make the caption as fsl with distributed topic dot pdf if you click on send you will see now there is a caption under that message so that's how we, you will be able to send a document and similarly goes with the image as well you can create the content distribution for the image file and then you can utilize over here for, for the link now you may be asking or you might be having a question in your mind where you say that there could be some uh, document we really don't want it to create the public link or public downloadable link the distribution link right so how we are going to uh, tackle care with those scenarios so in that case first you really have to upload the file using there is a um there is a upload like it could be it, it says that it's upload image okay but you can upload it over here any kind of file right i have given uh like this is a url where you are trying to upload the media first you have to upload so once you upload it maybe if you click on send and it says that the parameter is required i don't have this file uh, within my system so maybe i can click on select file and then i'm going to select this portfolio header okay this is my portfolio and then click like first you have to upload you're going to get the id of the upload and then in your uh, a particular uh, send message when you wanted to send it now here as this is an image so you need to change it to image and put the id and whatever id that you have and then file name is not required but caption you can have that with the image and click on send 
so you are going to have that document over here or image over here so if you really had a question on how to protect the privacy of the files you can definitely use this way like first upload the file get the id and then send that in the second call that you can definitely do that it's going to take a base 64 format like into the form data and this is your the form data that you have and if you really want to get the code in the postman itself you can click on this code icon and then this is the http and you can have this this is how you are going to make a request so you can definitely upload that file and then you can just send it for your privacy uh, for your private files but we are mainly going to focus on this where we are sending this documents right with the help of url so so for what we did is we prepared the content distribution now we really have to send it using epic so first let's go ahead I'll go to our fs class and maybe into the whatsapp util itself okay uh, we've got one method which is sending a list messages by customer there is a template message which is sending a flight booking confirmation i'm going to create one more public static or maybe whatsapp message and we'll say send media and some of the things i'm really going to take it from this method as well that those are nothing making the api call and then returning the message because the, the things are common and i'm not using the best practices like i'm reusing repeating the code and again and again so uh, you really don't need to worry about that you just need to utilize the code and may, maybe use the best practices right so all we need is uh, we need this kind of message now so let's go ahead and go to the browser and say admin booster json to epic because we wanted to convert our json into the stream format and then from this test method i really need this part okay and let's create a string parameter name it as body and put it here okay now we have got here we've got this body which we are wanted to send now if you see here this link is something which is uh, static let it be for now but uh, two phone number is something we really wanted to accept as a parameter okay and then we also wanted to accept uh, maybe yeah that's fine we have got the type as a document and then here we've got document maybe you can have a different uh, way of making it dynamic i'm just testing it for document only okay so we've got this document we've got two phone which we are accepting and maybe uh, let's uh, copy this url and then maybe we'll have a url okay and here i'm going to say a string url and for my safer side i'm going to say if uh, string dot is blank the url parameter if it is blank i'm going to assign url equal to whatever we have just got as a parameter for our document okay that's what the url for me is to send the message rest all is going to be same if you see nothing is like uh, nothing is something that we are sending and it's going to be type is going to be media now okay now we've got this type as a media it could be document or image or anything now if we really wanted to test this we really have to first deploy this to salesforce so once our code is deployed what we need to do is in the developer console we need to open this whatsapp utils and this send the media message is our method we really need to ask whom we wanted to send the message and then url i'm not going to pass it because we already have that condition in our fs class so from the postman i'm going to get this to phone and then put it over here okay now if you see this is the final message maybe i'm going to send it as here from the last time uh, here i'm going to reply it and maybe i'm going to put some reaction the reason i wanted to do this because now we are going to execute this piece of code from fx class and after executing this we should be receiving the message so you must have heard the voice heard the voice and now you see here this is the message which we have sent from salesforce and the user is able to clearly receive this message with the name and title that's the one part of our uh, video that we wanted to send here okay now next thing is that let's say uh, you must be asking me how we are going to make sure that this is uh, uh, going to have a dynamic url right because we have generated this url manually 
but we somehow we talked about that how we generated this URL using this piece of code, right? But what really we can have is uh, we could really have a trigger on content version, okay? We can say content version trigger. Maybe I really need to check if that trigger is already there in my org. So I'm going to create the trigger from the developer console. So just create a trigger on content version and now say after insert instead of before insert because you need the ID. Okay. And here within the for loop, you can say, okay, you've got a for loop here. You will say content version new, right? You can prepare all these content version record within the for loop. All you need is you really don't need to insert those records over here. And then say list of content word content distribution. And outside of the for loop, we can insert those content distribution. Okay. And then later point of time, you definitely need to make a SQL query on the content distribution. And this time you really need to store in a list because you have got uh, more than one record the id filter is going to be where id in the list of our content distribution so this is really going to make sure it works and then based on now you really have to maybe do a for loop on this distribution this time okay maybe say a for loop here instead of on content version maybe you say a distribution but again, this is just the one piece of part that I have uh, told you that you really need to insert the content distribution and then Okay, what we're getting PDF URL. Okay, this is not there. Yeah. So yeah, this is the first part that I have told you that content distribution, but you definitely also need to have some mechanism which is really going to uh, get this link and store it somewhere in a field. So now what you can do is Maybe whenever there is a file uh, is attached, right? Within a WhatsApp message record, or maybe uh, within account, contact, or lead, whomever, because you wanted to send the message to uh, maybe leads and contacts, right? And then what you can do is whenever a content version is created within the leads or the contact record, so you can have a field on this lead object says that content version URL. And then, or maybe you can have a custom object. So it basically depends on there could be multiple solutions that you really wanted to have. I'm not going to uh, go deeper there, but this is the one way that you can have a distribution created for each content version. But you definitely have to maybe store within a custom object the details of this uh, distribution, saying a content version ID, and then what is the distribution download URL, public URL, or PDF URL. All the URLs you can download, uh, store it in a custom object for your reference purpose so that you can refer those later on. But that's how you do create the records of distribution automatically. So, this is it uh, that we have for this video. Thanks for your time. And we will meet into the next video with the new concept in the same series. And before you go ahead, please do like, share, subscribe this channel. Also, share with your colleagues or friends and that that really going to make motivate us if you really uh, press that bell icon and just subscribe it thank you